Hey guys, Christina here, and today I have a look for you at a number of Amazon purchases I've made recently. I find it's always interesting and sometimes inspiring to see what other people are buying, especially in the homeschool world. So stick around and let's have a look. So first of all, if you're new here, welcome. I am Christina. I'm a homeschool mom to five children in the Canadian Maritimes, and we also are trying to homestead <laughs> here in New Brunswick. So I think I'll start with the homeschool items first. I feel like I just bought kind of like some basics. So these Ticonderoga pencils, I have a hard time saying that. This was a really good price for 30 of them. I know people are kind of like, they love them, they don't love them. I love them. And I'm hoping 30 will get us through the year. They're a really great pencil. They last a long time, but they do go missing in my house for some reason. So picked up that pack. And then I picked up these Hillary notebooks, just regular subject. I actually got five of them because typically my kids use graph notebooks for math, which if you're not doing, you should do. <laughs> it's so much easier to help the kids line the numbers up. But my older kids needed some notebooks in order to make notes on their science courses, and I completely forgot about that. So. I picked five up, they already, two of them are using them already, and these will just go on my extra shelf because they were cheaper to buy five. And they're just, you know, the regular lined ones. Then I picked up some books. We got, I'm so excited about this one, The Wildlife Anatomy by Julia Rothman. This is her newest one. We have, I think all the other ones, we have four of them. And we really do like them. We use, we're going through farm anatomy right now, and we use the books, I can't remember who it's by, but the, the workbooks that go along with it. So, so far there's no workbook for this one because obviously it just came out, but um, we might use it in the future. But this is great for, we've used like the ocean one when we were doing clay ocean animals uh, during a unit for that. Um, but it's also great for sketching, for watercolor, for just looking up and information. We really love the Julia Rothman books. And I should mention, I'll have all these things linked in my store, which the link is down below, if you're interested in them as well. It is an affiliate link. I do get a small percentage, which helps our family, and I really appreciate that if you buy through that link. So then I picked up this book here, Blackie the Crow, Thornton W. Burgess. This is going along because we're doing birds this year. So this is going to be one of our read-alouds for the year. And then I also picked up Only a Dog, A Story of the Great War. This is Simply Charlotte Mason, Simply Charlotte Mason Presents. So I'm going to have this book, or I should say, I bought it for my son who is in grade 11, who's doing World War I. It's going to be like, you know, half an hour read, 20 minute read for him. But then I also thought we can use this when we do our Story of the World Volume 4 as well as a read aloud. And so it's just a simple book with a few little sketches, but I thought that would be a good one. Um, it says, learn about World War One as seen through innocent and loyal eyes. The civilian's heartache, life in the trenches, standing watch, hand-to-hand -hand combat, a doctor's care, and the British soldier's camaraderie. Just really interesting from a dog's perspective. Blackie the Crow, just going back to that, says, One day Blackie notices two fresh eggs in a nest belonging to Hootie the Owl and Mrs. Hootie. The eggs are a prize too delicious to pass up, and then Blackie devises a plan to snatch them. That's that story. Then, if you saw my French video where I shared a bunch of different French workbooks, I picked up these three books. So, Le Français... I don't speak French, but I got levels two, four, and five. If you want to see a complete flip through and like how I plan to use these, you can go look at the other video, but those are the ones I picked up. They did not have level four, which is why I, or sorry, level three. That's why level three is missing. So those were the next ones. And then my kids starting piano lessons after three-year break, about. So um, my oldest son needed this book here, 
So the piano teacher asked for that, so I picked that up. And my youngest son, this is his first year of piano lessons, he's very excited. Uh, the teacher asked for this book here, so I went ahead and ordered those. She told me Amazon was one of the cheapest places to get the books, so I picked those up. And then I also picked up this container of the, I call them like alligator clips, but that's not what they actually are. What are they called? Binder clips? Uh, it's just a whole bunch of different sizes. I use these for various things to do with homeschooling and it was kind of just cheaper. I needed the bigger ones. It was cheaper just to like buy a mix set. So we'll use this for many things through many years, I'm sure. So that's kind of all the homeschool stuff. So then <clears throat> moving on to, no, it's not. There's one more thing I don't have here to show you. I bought the Scotch Thermal Laminating Sheets. I was completely out and I'll show you in a minute why I was completely out. So I went ahead and bought new ones of that. Okay, so maybe let me show you why I had to go <laughs> buy those. So I picked up the Ball Blue Book Guide to Preserving and I took it apart <laughs> and laminated every single sheet. I need a bigger coil. I'm still waiting to get a bigger one so it looks a little funny right now. Um, mixed feelings about the way I did it. It was expensive once I like laminated it um, and I don't like the texture of it. I prefer the book texture. However, I have already spilt something on it and of course it was completely protected so <laughs> I don't know. But that's the book that I bought. I, I had bought one canning book last year and I just didn't like it. It didn't have the basic recipes I wanted. So someone recommended this book to me and so I went ahead and got it was a little more expensive and it came from the US, even though it's through Canadian Amazon. Um, but so far I'm really liking it. It has good recipes, basics, and beyond the basics. And it's fairly straightforward, which I like. I got that. All right, then talking of canning, I dropped my gauge. So I had to buy a new gauge. <laughs> I've only had my canner, my pressure canner for one year and yeah, I had to buy a replacement gauge. My husband tried to fix it and he, it's not quite right and just because I want to be really careful, I went ahead and got the new one that works right. Um, I've kept the old one, this is the old one in here, as a backup in case I happen to drop my new one, but let's hope I don't. But yeah, this is the Presto steam gauge is what it's called. I had to buy a new one of that. And then I also got these, let's see if I can say guajalo, guajalo chilies. I wanted to make some enchilada sauce because that's something we enjoy eating a few times throughout the year, but it takes a bit of time to make. And I saw a recipe from Little Mountain Ranch and she used these to make the sauce. And so I thought I'd give that a try. I got a much smaller package than her. Um, my family loves spice. I'm kind of so-so. So I'm going to give this a try and see how these work, but I got them from there because it's hard to find certain foods here and I, I just, I knew that was going to be more difficult to find. Then I picked up a butter container. Um, we were just using like an, a glass dish with a lid and the lid was broken and yeah, decided it was time to get a butter dish. It does not fit the Canadian butter though. I don't know if you're US or from other places, our butter comes in one pound blocks. We don't have like the sticks like in the US. So it's not tall enough, which is too bad because this one also has measurements. If you can see that. It has like teaspoon and tablespoon so you know where to cut for it, which is too bad, but that's okay. It works well. I just happened to grab it while it was in the dishwasher this morning. Um, it has the little non-skid thing so it stays put. We've really liked it so far. So simple but those things that make life a little easier. Speaking of which, <laughs> this is kind of embarrassing, but I bought more of these fly magnets. 
You know what? It's so gross hanging in my kitchen, catching flies, but it's catching the flies. There's so many flies here. It's just the time of year living with forests and land and yeah. So this is the second pack we've bought. It's, they work really well. You just hang them from the ceiling and they like unravel and flies get trapped to them. So again, a necessary thing <laughs> that works. Um, before I show you the last thing here, no, maybe I'll show you this first. So I saw this bag a couple months ago and really liked it, um, but didn't buy it and kind of thought about it for a while. And then I decided, yeah, I'm going to get it. So it's um, like a weekend travel bag. So you can see the tag still on it. I haven't used it. We were supposed to go to PEI. Um, but some things changed our plans, which is fine because then Hurricane Lee came that weekend anyways. But it has the extra strap so you can make it longer. It has tons of different pockets inside, both the like mesh and zipper one. It has outside pockets, multiple ones. And it also, it has this here. So it's meant if you have a rolling suitcase, the handle can go through here and then it can actually just sit right on it, which I think is really smart. Lots of pockets and the material is um, not, I don't think it's waterproof, but it's like wipeable material. I know uh, my mom made the comment to me like, oh, don't buy white, you know, it'll get dirty, but I like this pattern and honestly, I won't be using it that much. We currently have one big suitcase and one small one that are from when I went off as a teenager. <laughs> so they're like 20 years old and it's kind of getting harder. Sometimes we have to have two hotel rooms now to try and pack things for everybody into one suitcase. And it's a lot easier to pack things in the car when you have smaller bags and you can kind of move them around. So. That's the reason I decided to get the bag, just to make life a little bit easier and a little prettier. Um, and I'm really excited to use it. Hopefully we'll have a chance in the next month or two <laughs> for me to actually use it. You know, I think I might use it maybe three or four times a year, but I'm just going to make life a little bit easier. And I love all these pockets in it. So I got that. So then a few other things I don't have to show you. Um, I bought a black maxi dress. I did a video on where I showed hemming it and using that extra material to make a skirt for my daughter. As always, linked up top if you want to see that video. I also bought some new bed sheets for our king size bed. I wanted a darker color because with our hard water, it's so hard to keep anything white or any lighter colors looking clean and fresh, even though they are. So I went with the dark blue. Purity Home is the brand and it's cotton, organic cotton. So I'm hoping they're pretty comfortable. We'll see how they last. The color seems to be good so far after the first wash. We'll see how well they last and if they kind of stay together. So the other things I don't have here are we bought a couple different Lego sets for children for birthdays. Um, I will go ahead and put pictures so you can see that as well as a Chi notebook. My son loves Chi. He really wanted a notebook for his birthday, and so I got him this one, and he absolutely loved it. The inside pages are adorable. And lastly, I got a sticker dolly book for my daughter. She loves these books, and I particularly love this one because it's dancing. My family has a history of dancing. My mom is a dance teacher, but also because it has different skin colors in it. And as a mixed race family, it's always nice to see the variety of skin colors. So I really do like those books. And I think that's everything that I've bought in the last couple months. As I mentioned before, I'll link everything in my store so you can go click on that. Also Amazon Prime Days, they just announced it will be coming back October 10th and 11th, I believe. I do like to share over on Instagram things like deals that I'm finding that I'm either buying, things I already own, or things that we have owned in the past. Um, so make sure that you join me over there on those days and I'll share those links for you. Let me know in the comment section down below what have you been buying on Amazon lately and otherwise I hope this finds you having a great day. Take care.